Welcome to Trivial 10, the show that provides you with offbeat facts about any given subject. Now, we aren't giving you the top 10 facts of every subject. We're just giving them our favorites, aren't we? That's right. That's right. Historic photographs. You'll learn to love them, too. Yeah, so don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. I'm Jordan. That's Juan. Let's get trivial. Bow. At the library. Yeah. Summer school edition. hey We're going to be doing some summer school here at the library, not because we failed, but we're overachievers, right? Uh, absolutely, yes. That's what summer school is for. <laughs> I don't know. I, I remember it differently. Oh. All yeah. right. So our first historical picture. Are you ready for this? Ooh. A sausage. Number one, a sausage slot machine. Sausage slot machine. And I should say a warm sausage slot machine. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm, Are you grossed I'm, out yet? No, I'm not. I'm actually like kind of intrigued. Yeah. Is yeah. this in Germany, I bet? This is in uh, uh, Germany. Uh, hey, very good. Very good. That would be <laughs> only in Germany. <laughs> I don't know why. I just uh, went straight to Wiener Schnitzel yeah. or something like that. I, I think. Uh, have you ever had Wiener Schnitzel? I have. I have had Wiener Schnitzel before. I have never had Wiener Schnitzel. What? I haven't. I oh. haven't. Um, so maybe we should do that like live one time. Just eat. Wieners. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yes. So the picture you're looking at is a <laughs> slot machine selling warm sausages at a railway station in Germany, uh, 1931, pre Hitler. I mean, Hitler was there, but he was like not so popular yet. He was still feeling art school at that he time. He was still <laughs> feeling art school. So you can see this lady, she's putting in, I don't know, a German nickel. I don't know what, I don't know what kind of money. A mark? A mark coin? Uh, yeah. Here, 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 here's the deal. Here's the deal. I just think that art has really went downhill since World War II. Yeah. 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 And uh, it's obvious why. They, they just wanted to pass everybody in art school after that. They had one bad experience, and it's like... <laughs> so then, so look at that. Because after... I haven't seen a single one of these sausage dispensers post-World War II. No, it's a problem. Yeah. I would say. I would say we need to fix this in America. Yes, top 10 problem, um, epidemic, really, Yeah, if you will. Let's fix, uh, let's fix COVID and then wiener schnitzel for everyone. Get it in the bill. Yeah. <laughs> we will, it will be a uh, pork barrel uh, <laughs> bill. Is that, does that make sense? Is that what they call them? Where they put everything in the bill uh, and they just sign it? I don't know anymore. I don't know I think it's just called everything now. Uh, that's it's right. It's just commonplace. Oh, it's right. just, it's called right. the commonplace bill. That is true. That yeah. is true. So number two. The Sami people of Nordic Europe. Have you ever heard of the Sami people? I haven't heard of the Sami before, um, but I'm looking at the clothing and it does remind me of a, uh, of a Christmas movie that I watched, an animated, an animated Christmas movie that took place back in the Slavic area and everything. Yeah, yeah. it reminds me of Frozen. That's what I thought you were going for. That would have been much easier than the roundabout way of telling you what I watched. <laughs> no, no, that was great. That was great, too. Um, but yeah, so these are, they're basically indigenous folks that live near the Arctic Circle mm -hmm. and were not part of what would be considered the traditional West or that Norwegian, Sweden, Northern Finnish um, culture. So they're their own culture. Okay. So um, if you look at them, it's almost like... You know, America had their version of um, American Indians, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying the two are similar at all, but I'm saying that these people were separated, Yeah, and then they were basically colonized, or um, how would you say that? Essentially the same thing that... that that happened here. I mean, it's, it's definitely not like an American-centric issue. There was this no. issue everywhere. Right, um, exactly. Yeah. Um, it, it is crazy, though. And hmm, interesting, interesting. I think that that, that would be a cool uh, future Trivial 10 episode is to go more into those. Into to the go, Sammy in, people? Yeah, to go into the Sammy people. I'd yes. like to learn more about them. Uh, yes. And I wonder, are they still around today in some capacity? Yeah. Number three, this one mm -hmm. is the seal. And I always struggle with this pharaoh's name. Tut Tutankhamun's. Yes, thank you. I, I can watch History Channel. I can watch an hour of History Channel. And at the end, my wife will be like, what were you watching? I'll be like, Tutankhamun. Tutankhamun. <laughs> Tutankhamun. Hey, he teamed up with the aliens. He did. He yeah. did. Yes, that's, yeah. that's what happened. But So this is a picture of the seal okay. on Tutankhamun's tomb. 
And um, before it was opened in 1923, it was unbroken for over 3,000 years. So they got a photo of it, and I'm pretty sure they put it on Instagram. Yeah, absolutely. Before they opened it. I mean, I'm looking at the shading. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's been upskilled. Yeah, man, that's some beautiful craftsmanship. It is. Yeah. And it lasted 3,000, like a door handle that lasts 3,000 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if Chip and Joanna can do that, (laughs) but I bet they could do something close. You just got to throw in some white paint, a little bit of shiplap, and you're good. That's right. Yeah. Industrial chic. I I, did. I will say, I bet you, um, because if this was his tomb, I'm assuming it was obviously underground. Right. Less humidity, stuff right. like that. It's more arid, so like it's it's away from the elements and everything. Yeah. It's crazy, like something that's human made. I wonder if it's made from hemp. Perhaps. Maybe hemp or, or papyrus, uh-huh. whatever. Wow. Yeah. Those are great guesses. Yeah. Great guesses. Yeah. Number four, the great seal bug. And this is not an insect. This bug, okay, it's known as the great seal bug on August 4th, 1945. A group of Soviet schoolchildren presented it to W. Avril Harriman. The huh. U- oh, go ahead. No, no, I just, I didn't know him. Oh, no, me neither. It was just a good, huh, interesting. Huh, huh. Oh, that's, like an inquisitive. A, who's this huh. guy? Yeah. There's probably, here's the reason you don't remember him. <laughs> is He was U.S. ambassador to the USSR. And he had a, these children presented him with a carved U.S. seal as mm-hmm. a gesture of friendship, as the Soviets do. Yeah, yeah. Never take a present from Soviets. Never. Just, just saying. Russians, fine. But, well. In Soviet Russia, a gift to give you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. That's on the, the flag, I think. Yeah. Um, so they hung, he hung it in the office, and seven years later, mm-hmm. seven, how many conversations that were not supposed to be heard about the U.S. relations, all that stuff. Not, I don't mean relations in the office, man. Um, that was US that was th- this was pre Clinton. Yeah, this yeah. was pre Clinton. Yes, <laughs> and Boris Johnson. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you heard about him. Anyways, um, only an occasional weekday. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yes. So discovered that it had a listening device seven years later. Snap. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that's probably why we haven't heard about him. He, his career probably ended shortly mm-hmm. after that. Um, the children never caught the children. Some say that they grew into adults. Some, <laughs> some say that. Yeah. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> so this one, this next one, this one, uh, this one warms the cockles of my heart. Okay. Because this dude was, what was so that bad. word? Cockle. Cockle. Cockle is like a, a compartment in my heart that I like warms. It. Yeah. Yeah. It warms or gets cold, depending yeah. on what we're doing. Cockle, but... cockle, cockle, cockle down in my heart. Uh. It warms my heart. Uh. It warms my heart. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Sunday school <laughs> reference. Well, okay. Yes. <laughs> the good old days. So I, I just want to give you a definition. So number five, we've titled Nero's Waddle. Do you know what a waddle is? I do not. Let's, let's be enlightened together. I will enlighten you. Um, a waddle is a fleshy carnicle. That hangs from various parts of the head or the neck. So okay. This, you could have a, a waddle here. A waddle. Uh-huh. A waddle. It kind of hangs. Yeah. And, and as humans, we tend to get more pronounced waddles as we age. Mm-hmm. There was a show back in the 90s called Ally McBeal. Oh, gosh. And um, there was a guy on there, one of the lawyers. He thought that waddles were attractive. Okay. So that's kind of where I learned about the waddle. And I just, at the same time, admitted to watching Ally McBeal. So I don't know how I feel about that. There's um, there's a person out there for everybody. <laughs> Robin watched it with me. So yes, there See? is. <laughs> so um so if you look at these coins of Nero, yeah. If you'll see where he starts as a as kind of a boy king, and mm-hmm. uh, that's AD fifty. Yeah. And if you'll watch his face, and this guy was a bad dude. I don't know if you remember. He oh, would yeah. burn Christians at parties. Yeah, he like was on a pike. Not a good person. Uh, not, a good, a per, not a good person at all. At all. But look where he ends up at AD 68. Jeez. 18 years later, the dude looks like completely, completely sick. Completely different. Yeah. Well, you know why? It's because he's always laying down on his side in that little couch sofa thing with eating grapes. grapes. It, with the fans. Yeah. I don't think our body was designed to eat horizontally. No, so no, I don't think so. You gotta, you gotta figure like number one Sick. cause of eating horizontally: waddle. Waddle. It's yeah. Gonna happen. Yeah. It's gonna happen. Now let me see you waddle. Thank you. <laughs> we have some music for that. We'll have to get some. Hey. Maybe if I press the right button. <laughs> That's right. I thought that'll work. Number six. The Kaiser Bill toilet paper. Let's go. So the wrapping of Kaiser Bill toilet paper 
with the German monarch's face is on every sheet in the USA during World War One. That is fantastic. Isn't that awesome? Fantastic. Every time you took a dump, you were taking a dump on the Kaiser. And I've, it, was that just like accepted as commonplace? It's like, oh yeah, this is a common thing. Yeah, I think so. I yeah. think it was like, uh, now I have to, I do, I do have to clarify, I believe this was just for the GIs out in the field. Oh yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. know if this was like, you know, in Indianapolis. Right, right. old kids are wiping their, which I would have been fine with. Yeah, of, of course, of course. involved. Well, you got to think too, you got an entire country up against someone in particular so yeah yeah, yeah. A very plainly clearly evil yeah let's go ahead and put him on some toilet now paper. i have to go to spencer gifts to get that yes you do yeah. <laughs> you do oh that's right they do that don't yeah they? yeah all right so next we have emiliano zapata let's go and he was the coolest guy ever to wear a sombrero in mexico city i've worn a sombrero in mexico city so i agree to disagree you just dis- <laughs> I did not know, have you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe every hundred years there's a cool guy, because this was in 1914. Let's go. I was nine, so. You were nine? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so still in that uh, century. Range. But yeah, okay. (laughs) A little bit further back. Okay, so he's a leading figure in the Mexican Revolution in 1910 to 1920, main leader of the People's Revolution in the Mexican state of Morelos, Mm -hmm. and the inspiration of the... I love how you... um, I I didn't even mean... To like, <laughs> just so nonchalantly, like, yes, mm-hmm, that was correct. Like, <laughs> no, no, it, half it's of fun. me. <laughs> it just, I'm just so used to being the person that I just did it without even being like, yeah, no, you've pronounced everything right so far. I, I love that. Go, Thank mm-hmm. you very much. <laughs> I do live in Texas. That's very close. That does help. That does yes. help. Tex Mex. Absolutely. Um, so, it's inspiration <laughs> for the agrarian movement called, and I'll have some help there Zapatismo. Ah, excellent. So, I mean, seriously, though, this dude looks like he was photographed, like, yesterday. Yeah, I mean, the man is just a striking figure. And honestly, yeah. he's, even, like, during, like, pop culture or whenever Mexico needs another revolution, which is, it seems like always um, mm-hmm. some type of revolution going on, he's yeah. usually, like, one of, like, those pop figures that's in, like, the four different colors, like, plastered on the walls and everything. Ah. So, so, yeah. He's a hero they revisit. Yeah. In Mexico. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I just, I saw the hat and the suit and I was like, dang, this dude, 1914. I mean, that is, I mean, he, and this has been colorized, Mm -hmm. but I think they did a really good job with that as well. Yeah. Yeah. He's a striking, the the photo that you, is super famous. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. So, um, anyway, number eight, Aunt Jemima. Mm. This one's kind of sad, man. Yeah, I know. Especially because, like, I feel like the end of her story was felt so recently. <laughs> yeah, 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 and it was. It yeah. was. So she was uh, an amazing woman, and she was erased recently from um, basically popular culture. I think she'll go into um, not the trash bin of history, but, like, just forgotten now that she's not on the yeah, pancake I- box that bore her name i could see her being like one of those examples of um of uh not the butterfly effect the mandela effect a little bit to where like 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 our generation and like us and maybe our even our kids will will remember like oh yeah i remember Aunt Jemima was like an actual person yeah and then if i remember correctly well i'll I'll, I'll let you go to finish because i'm I'm trying to i want to see exactly where where you're going with no exactly okay so her name was nancy green she Mm -hmm. was born into slavery in kentucky in 1834 so at age 56, she was selected as a spokesperson for a ready-made pancake mix that de- debuted at the Chicago Fair and Exposition in 1893. She became very wealthy and traveled the country as an advocate for equal rights. So I, I just put on here that cancel, cancel culture is a cancer. Um, if we forget the things that we don't like about our past, then we are bound to repeat them. So I think we need to remember the good things about her life mm-hmm. that happened to her. Uh, and and the bad things that happened to her, so we don't repeat those mistakes. But she was an incredible woman. I won't re- read the whole story to you, but she was, um, like it said, she was an advocate for civil rights. So she came out of a really difficult place. She made something out of her life in America, despite difficult circumstances. And now we are remembering one aspect and one feeling from it, and we are completely erasing her from our culture. Yeah. That makes me sad. Yeah. Yeah, that makes me sad as well, too. You said everything I would say. Yeah. Good points. Number nine, the wedding set. 
<gasps> I also call it the Widowmaker. Uh oh. Yeah. So uh, it's called the Addie's Wedding Set. And if you'll see here in the picture, it comes with everything you need to clean the house. <laughs> okay. And it is extremely, <laughs> extremely, um, what would you call this? Chauvinistic. Chauvinistic. That's the perfect <laughs> word for it. Um, so, but it comes in tangerine, gold, avocado. Uh, of course, it comes in blue. And uh, not talk- I don't know if they're talking about the equipment coming in blue or your casket because you do not want to give this. And the, the title, the header here says, Every Bride's Lovely Coming Home Outfit. Box it's, complete and delivered direct to her door. Is that not <laughs> awful? And if you look at the sign here, this is not sold in America here. That is a pound sign. Yeah. This is a British product. Yeah. So um, how oh do you think this gosh. would fly over to Crazy that? how the times. Yeah. My gosh. No, this wouldn't fly at all. This Ever. wouldn't even be like a thought. It, it, I wouldn't even come up in rooms unless it was some nonchalant comment meant to be taken yeah. <laughs> fictitiously right that's the saturday night live thing <laughs> yeah that's exactly yeah yeah no that would not fly at all however with that being said me and my wife would probably dig all these but that's just because we both like to clean so i mean this seems appealing to me i'm kind of lying i was like i could use a bucket for a mop <laughs> it's good to have an additional mop yeah, yeah. Uh, and an additional bucket yeah i'm a bucket guy i like buckets yeah you some people are water. yeah wait what carry a lot of water around there, yeah right? water that's that's what i use my buckets for i use my buckets to carry around water <laughs> number 10 what do you use your buckets for i have to ask oh we would all like to know wouldn't we oh, yes we would <laughs> that's another episode stay tuned i don't know like rocks pebbles oh yeah yeah Actually, mostly water though mostly water <laughs> all right so number 10 steady hand a british airman dropping a bomb by hand during the first world war so if you look at this guy, he's got the bomb uh-huh. in one hand. He's looking down, mm-hmm. and he's eyeing this thing. Yeah, I was trying to figure out, but now that I have that context, I'm looking out. I'm like, that that's an airplane. Like like that's like the uh, the uh, tail in the back. It looks like a little bit, right? Oh, right back here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I I don't know if he's necessarily flying. Like I think it's probably a two seater. Mm-hmm. And he's like, hey, Frank. Yeah, um, yeah. You know. Or, uh, hey, Basil, yeah. because they're British. Yeah. Hey, Basil, take the wheel. I'm going to drop this bomb here on the uh, on the Kaiser. And Basil, and Basil says, I thought it, the lyrics was, Jesus, take the wheel. And yes. then it's a joke because of time. Yes, Carrie Underwood's not born yet. Yeah. She wasn't born for like two more years. Yeah, at least. At least. <laughs> That's a great picture. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. So um, the next thing I would have to ask you. Mm-hmm. In... Wait, what am I going into it like this for? I'm at the library. I'm, I'm trying to be quiet. I'm oh. not really trying to be quiet. It's time for our favorite part of this show. Ooh, what would that be? Quizzle. Dizzle. Dizzle. There it is. There it is. In what year was the first photograph ever taken? And this is officially recognized, first photograph. I'm going to give you some options. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, but so you, you could take it away. I won't even look. I don't want to cheat. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so are we talking 1859, uh-huh. 1837, mm-hmm. 1821, mm-hmm. or 1809? Uh, could you repeat those to me one more time? 1857. 1857. 18, I'm sorry, 1859, 1837, 1821, and 1809. You can look back. I'm pretty sure I think I know the answer to this. And the only reason why is because we were just at the museum in uh, Hot Springs, Arkansas, of Midwestern, and they had a whole room devoted to cameras. Wow. And I want to say, if I remember correctly, it's 1837. Golly, I'm proud of you, man. Is we're, it 1837? Can we get a round of applause for this show? Come on, I'm so proud of you. Oh, wait, they're at the library. Well, that's there, that's better. That's better. <laughs> 1837. Yeah. So if you look at the photograph, it looks like somebody's like was dropping their phone and oh, they gosh. took a picture of the, uh, the end table or not the end table, but the table right by the front door that gets cluttered. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks like there should be an umbrella there. Oh, wow. I, I will say this though. That lighting is actually, it's a very dramatic looking photo. It is a little bit. Sad. The, yeah. It brings, makes me kind of sad. I see like the lighting and the shadows. That looks I mean, for the first picture ever taken with a reliable first picture ever taken with a camera, that looks that looks pretty good. I right? Yeah. 
And they called it a a, a, a Dauger type. Now, please don't send me angry letters. I'm not a photograph um, wizard. Wizard aficionado, yeah. if you will. He's just a pinball wizard. Yes, that's true. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> and a whiz wizard. <laughs> Any, I'll stop. But that's uh, that's it, man. Cool photo, huh? Yeah, cool yeah. photo. Cool yeah. photo. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I tell you what, I, I, I feel like I have been relieved. Have you, do you feel? Yeah, relieved? I feel relieved. I feel like I just had a big photo dump. Wow. <laughs> nice, nice. I really appreciate you going <laughs> above and beyond with that. Yeah, no problem. With that effort. I did my best. Yeah, you did great. Yeah. You did great. Well, thank you so much for joining us for this week's episode. Special thanks to Historic Photographs. Uh, follow them on Facebook. They post interesting stuff all the time. Ooh. And we'll be coming back with some more historical photographs. So just wanted to make sure they were recognized. Until next time, stay curious. And remember to eat your vegetables. Yes, also that. Also, Red Bull. Sponsor us. It gives you wangs. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs>